Uh, welcome. Thank you. Welcome. So good. You're so glad you're here. Hey, uh, um, did you start out singing in choirs? Did I get that right? Yeah. And um, and then you you got a, a a break early on getting into musical theater. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I was. I always sang, and I, I actually wrote songs when I was a kid that I I I don't have any recording of. I wish I did. Um, but yeah, then I got into musical theater. Yeah. Worked with Donny Osmond once. <laughs> I was in a children's choir in uh, Joseph and the Amazing Technicolor Dreamcoat. That must have been exciting. It was very exciting. It was extremely exciting. It was yeah. like staying up late, going to Toronto, being on stage. It was amazing. When you were how old? Eleven. Eleven. Wow. <laughs> and, uh, and were you already uh, uh, an athlete? Were you already doing snowboarding and stuff like that, winter <laughs> sports? Um, yeah, actually. I grew up five minutes away from a ski hill. Um, I'm sorry to say that in Colorado, it's not, it's like a, basically like a little lump, but um, yeah, I grew up next to a ski hill and uh, I grew up skiing and then snowboarding. Yeah. And you were, uh, so you were a snowboard instructor. <laughs> How do you know all this? <laughs> just, you were um, a child actor and you, and yeah. you ended up, and I, I was amazed by just the list of credits. So TV shows and films, you've done a lot of stuff. Yeah. And do you still do that? Uh, no, not anymore. I'm full-time musician. And um, so, so tell me about moving to Toronto when you got there. Was there a vibrant and, and welcoming music scene when you uh, decided that that's what you were going to do? Yeah, I was so lucky. I moved to Toronto, I think, in 2002. And 2003, 2004 was the big explosion of Toronto and Canadian music. So like Arcade Fire, Broken Social Scene, all these bands, and so many others. Um, it was an amazing time to be in Toronto. There was this very open spirit of like, anyone can be in a band, just go play music. And so I started playing in right. bands. And did you benefit, because I know Canada is pretty generous with um, artists in general, and mm -hmm. sometimes helps support uh, musician and artists, and but also helps make sure that they get exposure on national television and things like that. Were you the beneficiary of any of that stuff? Uh, I mean, not national television yeah. yet, um, but for sure, like CBC Radio is super supportive yeah. and has been great. And uh, yeah, there's definitely some help, which is great. So you don't remember any of the songs you wrote when you were a little kid? I wish I did. Do you think it was the same style? Because you have this lovely narrative style that's not too concerned with rhyming. You're mm. just, you're, they're like little short stories, lovely mm. Um, really, really good writing. Has that always been the way you've sort of conceived songs? No, actually, when I first started writing songs, I was literally, I didn't know how to play guitar. I'd never written a song on guitar, and I was writing songs on my computer. I had like a music recording software, and I was like looping sounds and making sounds and sort of playing things, and then I start singing over top. And so it's, my first songs are really weird. I came to folk music very backwards, <laughs> actually. Yeah. yeah, and then um, and then do you do you imagine yourself being like a rock and roll singer? Sort of is that what you mean? Like you really want to cut loose in that way, or? Oh, I just mean like I started out um, writing songs like with a computer. Yeah, and then a few years later, I got rid of the computer and started writing songs with a guitar, and that's right. when I kind of hit on the narrative. Uh, songwriting and, yeah. and using words because I just I love words and I love singing words and I love singing words that I haven't heard in a song before you know and just seeing how many things I can put in songs that I've never heard in a song there's lots of lots of telephoning in your songs oh interesting yeah there's lots of people calling each other up yes <laughs> um, and I'm sure soon it'll all be texting it'll all be texting yeah it doesn't sound as poetic um, <clears throat> Let me, uh, let me just also ask you um, about the whole, because I think your, your songs are like short stories. They're very personal, or, or not, but they feel very personal. And uh, there's a delicacy to your voice. Do you find that, that the music business and touring and playing in all these different places is uh, a comfortable spot for you to be sharing all that stuff? Or do you ever feel like, God, I'm in this sort of harsh world? And... <laughs> That's a good question. Um, yeah, I mean, the, I made a record a couple years ago, and I toured it alone with an acoustic guitar, um, like a parlor-sized acoustic guitar that didn't plug in. And I played all these bars, and it made no sense. Um, 
but I kind of had to make it work for me, yeah. you know, even though it was just the total wrong thing to do. Just for, um, for the battle scars? or For the battle scars. I don't know what was wrong with yeah. me. Um, <laughs> but yeah, it's, it's definitely, I've always felt like I needed to find a way to include silence in my songs and include silence in the place where I am on stage, even if it's a loud, rowdy bar. Mm-hmm. Um, but for sure, with, with a new record that I've just made, I definitely found myself drawn to drums and rhythm and trying to bring it to a stronger place. Um, Should we have a little silence? (laughs) A moment of silence. (laughs) (laughs) I do want to ask you briefly about, I mean, maybe I shouldn't, the the weather station. Is that a name that just came naturally to you? I can't help but notice that we've got our our mutual friend, uh, Afi, who's Bahamas, and we've got uh, Dallas Green, who's City in Color, and we've got (laughs) Feist, and all kinds of people (laughs) seem to have names that aren't their name, even if they're one person. Yeah, I, I think I have to blame that on Toronto uh, circa 2005 or so. I, I think when I first started playing music and recording music and I had my MySpace page and I was going to put my music up on my MySpace page and like I didn't know anyone who used their name. Like to use your name was like this super bogus, like just not cool thing to do. So everyone had these monikers, and so I, yeah. I did too. And now, of course, we're all like, why? why didn't we just use our name? But, you know, it is an evocative name that I, I still can stand behind. Yeah, no, no, I, and it's, uh, it's strangely consistent with our theme this week, so we appreciate yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, listen, I'm glad you're here. I'm really enjoying your song. Let's, let's get back to music. Okay, great. Thanks. Welcome back, if you would, the weather station, Tamara Lindemann. Mm. 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 